I'm David Wright. I'm Associate Director of Ambassadors of Harmony. And I'm Jim Henry, Co-Director. Johnny Maroney, Co-Director. The idea came from our director, Jim. The question was, where did the idea come from? It came from Jim, who had this vision of us being in grayscale and doing... We didn't even know what the songs were, but some scenario where we all, all in black and white, and before the end, color had broken out. That was the original vision. Yeah, we had this idea about five years ago and just kept talking it through. Johnny's brother Blake did a lot of research on that, and we, it's just been a really fun journey. So we've, we've really enjoyed it. It's a lot of work, though. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's probably our most daunting contest set yet, just with the moving parts and logistics and makeup and all that. I mean, we spent the better part of an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes getting everybody made up. So it was quite a to-do, but obviously... That's enough. Yeah. All right. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have a guy in our chorus. We, we have a place that we go out for pizza and beer after every rehearsal. That's where all the best ideas happen. That's where this idea happened. We had a guy in our chorus by the name of J.T. Reed, and uh, we were trying to think of a beautiful ballad that, so that we could introduce color. So it was his idea to do true colors. We decided maybe we should make this about movie stars and feature Charlie Chaplin or something. We had no song. But there's a Broadway musical called Chaplin that has great music in it. We just kind of did some research and found it. Uh, found two songs and our wonderful arranger, David Wright here, arranged both of those songs and put all that together in a medley for us, so. We first started on the, on the ballad, actually, and you know, I just got out YouTube and watched Cindy Lauper sing it and maybe one or two artists and just tried to envision how this could become a barbershop ballad. It means sort of engineering a big climax in because the song doesn't have that. But that's the kind of thing arrangers do all the time. So I didn't find that so difficult. Uh, the, the other song was a little bit more of a challenge because there were two songs and they're just... They're, they're good songs, but they're, I don't think either one of them is a song we would have chosen on its own merit. We had to put them together and make some added material and some transitions so we could have the director scene and whatnot. Uh, and so that kind of made it fun. So I got the whole, then there had to be this material about black and white, you know, the introduction and the tag talks about life in black and white. And then when we started the, the ballad, it talks about black and white. So. It was the connecting material, the added material that was probably the most challenging. So you arranged I wouldn't say every, but a lot of them, perhaps. Oh, it's it's the most fun because I know the group. I know what we can do. I know our capabilities. I know how high our lead singers sing, how low our basses sing. In some sense, it's the easiest of all. I, I know them. So I envision them singing these lines. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's, a, it's indescribable. It's an honor, it's a blessing, it's the love of my life. I grew up in this chorus, so my dad was a member of this chorus and my stepdad since before I can remember, I mean, since my infancy. So I literally grew up in this chorus. I joined the chorus when I was 11. So this is a huge part of my life. I don't know a life without it. So now to be standing up in front and to be surrounded by talent like the two guys on either side of me, and not just these two guys, but there's a whole bunch of those guys in our chorus. Uh, so I just stand up in front many times and just think, how blessed I am and just what an incredible uh, position I've been put in here. Um, I just feel so humbled and grateful um, every day for this chorus. I really, really do. It's a life changer for me.